Yo. What's going on? Not much. How are you? Did you uh, dig any more into the no, Shokun thing? No. Oh, you're done? Well, I, you know, I haven't gotten started yet. Yeah, just give it some time. and <laughs> That right there. I got a little bit of time. That kind of forced laugh. <laughs> mm -hmm. You guys are so funny. <laughs> and the way you won't uh, look at like when I look at me, you won't look at me back. I'm looking at you all day. Uh, I'm looking at you. Come on. Mm -hmm. You trying. guys. You guys. You can keep doing it. There's nothing there. <laughs> you kill me. You kill me. He's over there texting like, don't say a word. Don't mm. say anything. Laszlo, um, I've known you a long time, and I think I know how yeah. you're going to feel about this. Uh, okay. This new trend. Apparently, it started on TikTok. Have you heard of Lucky Got Girl it. Lucky Girl Syndrome? Have I heard of it? Lucky Girl Syndrome. It's been trending on TikTok. Started with someone who posted a video. Uh, talking about the basics of lucky girl syndrome. And then there's another video that I think at this point has even more views. It's like a million views of these two girls sitting in their car eating noodles while they talk to the camera about lucky girl syndrome. Okay. Basically, they kind of heard of it and they decided they were going to try it. Okay. I'm going to play you a clip from... Uh, TikTok where this girl's talking about lucky girl syndrome. I genuinely consider myself one of the luckiest people I know. Like, I get the most insane opportunities thrown at me out of nowhere. There's literally no better way to explain it than, like, it feels like the odds are completely in my favor. And the thing is, it wasn't until I genuinely believed that great things just happened to me out of nowhere that things literally started flying at my face. Like, I'm not kidding. And I wouldn't even call this, like, toxic positivity because I genuinely believe that, like, the best things just happened to me. Mm -hmm. Toxic positivity. That's a yeah. new one to me, too. I'll have to look that up. So, there, these girls that made this other video, they said, the two of them seem to be very good friends. They said, you know, we're walking around, we're talking about how things just don't work out for us, and we're tired of it. You know, we yeah. keep having all these problems, we're complaining. Sure. So they decided, you know what we're going to do? Like, we want to get this new apartment, but it's one of these split houses, and we sure. really were hoping to get the bottom room. But we also, you know, want to be nice to the roommates, and we don't want to force them to stay sure. upstairs if they don't want to. And this whole thing, they said, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to start acting like everything always works out for us, and we're going to say it. So the two of them began saying, everything just works out for us. Anytime something came up, they would say, it'll be fine. Everything always works out for us. We're right. just super lucky. Everything works out for us. And they claimed that as soon as they started saying that, from the time they started saying to each other, everything just works out for us. We're really yeah. lucky. Everything works out. Everything has been working out for them. They got a call from the future roommate who said, you know, I was thinking about it, and I think you should have the bottom room. I, you know, you guys deserve the mm -hmm. bottom room, and I'll be upstairs. And they said, this is just one of the many things everything even if it's just going to a restaurant thinking that it's going to be closed and on the way there someone might say they might be closed and the other one has to say no it's not everything always works out for us and since right. they've started saying that their lives have gotten better i don't think this is such a crazy thing i understand no. that it seems silly and calling it lucky girl syndrome seems silly but it's a lot like the secret with the yeah. secret the difference is you kind of mm -hmm. focus on something you want think well, about that, it it's exactly the same Okay, so does the secret also I think, say... Well, I mean, no. Well, I mean, they call it a secret and they give it a different thing, but it's no different than just, like, you know, positive mental reinforcement. Right. Like, I mean, we know that that works. Yes. So... Like, if you say, hey, what, what do you want? I want to get out of debt. Yeah. And you just keep focusing on getting out of debt, right? Yep. You're going to slowly start to make strides towards that because it's what you're thinking about doing and what you're trying to accomplish. Right. So, you know, put down your mission. If you put down a mission, there's a reason why it's a mission statement. You put down a mission statement and follow it and then move forward confidently. Like, no, I'm going to do this. Yeah. There can't be any doubt. R right. But if you move forward confidently with a mission statement, I'm, you know, you may not always get exactly what you want. You can come pretty, pretty damn close. It's been a long time since I watched The Secret, but... I remember thinking the example that I use, like a Mustang, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, so you want a Mustang. So just start thinking about how you want that and don't stop thinking about it. Mm -hmm. Because what you will start to do is, you can, sure, you can write down plans and budgets and all those sure. things as well, but you also will eventually, according to them, subconsciously start to make decisions without yes. even thinking about it that lead you closer and closer to that thing that you want, that Mustang, right. whatever it is. And this sounds very similar to me, except these girls are basically saying, uh, be positive and say, yeah. hey, everything always works out for us. I do believe that yeah. there is a lot to be said of course. for putting on a smile when it's faked. Of course. You don't always have to. I'm not of asking course. you to always fake that you're happy or to not talk about your problems, but sometimes just fake it, and it might just you, you might start to feel better. Now, if you don't, yes, okay, I get it. Talk to someone. But for those little things, if you just stay positive, as Laszlo says, sure. and I do believe that. Yeah. 
My, so my I don't mom, mean bad things won't happen to you. No, but bad things happen to everybody. But I think if you walk around with your shoulders shrugged and uh, everyone screws me over, I'm a victim. These people screwed me over. This screwed me over. It's not my fault where I am. Like that snowballs. Right. Yes. And you just stay in it. Comes it. And then you start cloud. to live in it, right? Yeah. And now you're just in it. And you. But if you're like, no, I'm going to get through this. Here's my goal to get through this, right? This is how I'm going to get through it. And then you just start walking forward. You'll get through it. So it says here the general <laughs> idea is that good things will happen if you tell yourself that everything always works out for you. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, in some sort of, I guess you could say mystical way, but there's probably right. a good explanation for it. Uh, the deck I think people think it's dumb because, favor. like, you know, the way they're kind of selling it is it's like, like well, magical. I just wanted to get that lower apartment. Okay, well, I don't know what you did, how that worked. I'm not, yeah. I'm, I'm not with you. But the idea behind it's not magic. No. It's moving forward towards something you want. And, like, so my mom's religious. So for her, you could insert God there. You know, God always takes care of me. Right. You know, that sort of thing. It'll be okay because God takes care of me. Sure. And she believes that. And I think that there well, is... Well, it's no different than, like, I guess. I mean, I don't think it'll work if you just say... I'll be honest with you. I don't think it'll be work if you just... Like, they did at least have things that they wanted. Yes, they did. I don't think you can just be like, God will take care of it. Because I think that's too eh, wishy-washy. I think it's like, hey... We're behind on the mortgage, and God's going to take care of it. And I'm behind on the, Then I think you start moving forward. If you need God to walk with you, then that's one thing. I mean, that's what... I mean, it's basically no different than what Joel Osteen will tell you. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's really just a power of positive thing. It's probably been around since forever, well, right? They, they get to that, yeah. Uh, and then I think what the really changes it if you do singular of purpose. Example? Like, uh, you know, it was... So... You can't want many things on many fronts. So you have to singularly focus on what that is. And you can even make it smaller and smaller and smaller. But I was managing a Little Caesars, and I started to go to broadcast schools. Like, I'm going to get into radio. Right. I couldn't be like, I'm going to get into radio, or maybe TV, or maybe journalism. Or, you know, if this came around, I'd like to do that. Or maybe I'll start – that never works. Uh, yeah. Never works. Okay. It's got to be like, yo, I'm going to get a job in radio. Yeah. And then you just do it. Mm. Yeah. And you're either, you measure it by every day. And I tell my kids this all the time. Uh, you are either one step closer to your goal or one step further away. That's just time. So if your goal today, whatever it is, was to lose 10 pounds and you didn't do anything today, you're further away from that goal today than you were if you would have done something today to get there. Yes. That's it. And while I agree with you that if you say God will take care of the mortgage, God might not take care of the mortgage. You're that taking care different. of it, you're, sure. But it, don't don't you said basically don't put all your eggs in that basket. But like, even they say you know it won't work. God doesn't just come down and give you the money. It takes work. Right, right, right. Well, so He's going to help you get through this. So however you want to label that, if it's God, the secret, magic, power, power, of power, positive thinking, whatever it is, it's you putting in the work. But I but also you don't even think know you're putting in the work. I think that what comes into play where this, apparently so, this lucky girl syndrome is actually called a law of assumption, which is uh, close yes. to the secret. Uh, it is. The secret is law of attraction. So law of assumption, uh, uh, this guy came up with in the 60s. I think, let's say you don't get the apartment, and you're mm -hmm. the girls that say everything always works out for us. Well, if you don't get the bottom apartment, you find out you get the top one, then you say, well, everything always works out for us. So now what you're saying is, maybe this will end up being for the best. That's exactly. the same thing my mom would do when she says, well, God will take care of it. Right. Because this it was supposed to be, right? It right. was meant to be. It'll work out in the end. So yeah, in the 1960s, this guy came up with this law of assumptions, and people are pointing out that that's basically what this sure. is. If you assume something's true, it eventually manifests itself sure. and becomes a reality. And then they said it's also quite and similar to the but law more, of attraction. More, more and more people do it in a negative. Yes, of and course. that's what destroys your life. We all that's know those the people. part that right. Like I assume she's cheating on me. Yeah. Well, okay. If that if that's your single focus is that she's cheating on you and you're gonna catch her, then she is. Yeah. And she will. It's gonna happen. Right? Like that's it's but people would understand that in a negative way. If I just told you that, you would be like, Of course that happens. But if I said, uh, you're gonna go out and you're going to meet someone you really love. 
right? And you made that your singleness of purpose. You will. Yes. You will. I agree. There's no doubt about it. Like I, I, there's no doubt about it. The problem is it takes work. That's a mix of both. Now you're mixing law of assumption and law of attraction. Yes, of course. You know, and I think that together. they are. But so there are people that are critics of this. And those people say, of course they are. It's just they're the people with the black clouds, <laughs> right? Exactly. They say it's delusional, and they're the ones who call it toxic positivity. Yeah. Which, you know what? I don't even want to know what the hell toxic no. positivity. I'm telling is. you, and so, but sure I do believe stupid. that's got to be singleness of purpose, and it can be really small. Yeah. Like I even talk like playing sports. Like I tell kids that I coach or whatever. Like it, 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 we'll just use like a linebacker position. I think I was actually talking to my oldest about this earlier this morning. It's funny that it's come up. Um. If you're a linebacker, right, and you say, on this next play, I'm going to blitz and sack the quarterback, right? You have to do that with confidence, and you have to believe that you're going to do it, and then you cannot doubt yourself while you're doing it. What happens is you're like, I'm going to blitz, and I'm going to sack the quarterback. Then something happens. You're like, oh, no, I think the running back's coming this way. Maybe I should – dead in the water. Go do it. Say what you're going to do, and then go do it. Yes, and I also think that and if do you say it, and you're going to sack the quarterback, that if you believe it, and it doesn't happen, there's that's a fork in the road, and you can either dwell on that, and then you get like in sports, you might get the yips or whatever, right? right. This isn't going to happen. Uh, for me, like I was, I was a bowler. That's what I did on a league as a right. kid growing up. So if I got into that mindset, I was like, I can't get this strike. For some reason, I can't hit a damn strike. But then if I told myself I will, then once I did, it's like, of course. Yes. Of course, you know, and you remember that. Like, I just got to be more confident. That's all it is. I'm looking up toxic positivity. The uh, signs of it are experiencing guilt uh, for being sad or angry, which, okay, I guess they're saying that that could be unhealthy. You don't want to feel guilty about feeling sad or angry. Um, if you recite positive quotes about hard situations, an example would be just stay positive. Mm -hmm. right. uh, dismissing others' difficult feelings, hiding painful emotions, and ignoring your own problems. Okay, sure, sure, sure. That can be true, and also... Well, you're not ignoring your problem. Right. You're exactly. handling them. And you're you trying to handle them. What you're not doing is living in them. Right, and dwelling on well, them. Well, you want me to live in them. Yes. I'm not saying I don't have problems. What yes. I'm saying is I'm trying to fix them. And in order to do that, I need to move forward confidently that I have a plan. I have a plan, and I'm going to execute that plan. Just make it that easy. Yeah. I want a Mustang. I'm going to get a Mustang. Okay. Law of attraction. Now let's start going. Right? Because yeah. I'm guessing if you do that, maybe it's maybe it's little baby steps, but your mind tells you, hey, you know what? I'm just going to make coffee at home. Well, now I'm one step closer to yeah. getting that Mustang. It may be a dollar, yeah. but I'm one step closer. And that's how it works.